Hey, time for our cup of joe. Today we're going back to 1820, Salem, New Jersey. That's not the witch Salem, that was in Massachusetts. But about 2,000 people gathered in front of the courthouse. Why? Because they thought they were going to see Robert Gibbon Johnson, a lawyer, commit suicide. How so? He promised to eat some tomatoes. Well, at that time, uh, tomatoes were widely consumed in Europe. In fact, they were thought to be aphrodisiacs. They were referred to as the love apple, but not so in North America because the tomato is in the same botanical family as belladonna. It was thought that they were toxic and nobody wanted to eat tomatoes. But Johnson was interested in agriculture and he had also traveled in Europe and he had seen Italians eat and survive tomatoes. And he thought that it was a real shame that this fruit, and yes, tomato is a fruit, wasn't popular in North America. So he decided on this demonstration. He hired a band who was going to play a funeral dirge in the background as he picked up some tomatoes and proposed to eat them. Now granted, his tomatoes didn't have these silly stickers on them at that time. So he picked up a tomato and he bit into it and crowd looked on and women swooned. He picked up another one and he ate it. Much to the surprise of his physician who had predicted that Johnson would foam at the mouth and die of appendicitis from eating a tomato. But he proceeded to go on and eat several tomatoes and people were amazed at this, but they learned that the tomato was not toxic. And on that day in 1820, in Salem, New Jersey, the eating of tomatoes was born in North America. And it's a good thing because tomatoes are a very, very nutritious fruit. So thank you, Robert Gibbon Johnson. And that's it for today. We will see you.